typically remark to specifically one person when there is a law proceeding with some form of court and I don't particularly tend to do it on places like YouTube but as people are aware there is a critically injured male cop who is fighting for his life or was fighting for his life and the footage that I saw I just wanted to correct something I don't think this was a yesterday thing this is probably old enough that it, it doesn't matter to people anymore but the mother of the children one's catching a weapons charge the other one is getting murder charges they were pulled over for expired plates which is another thing that was done wrong and can be fact checked and either did happen or didn't and with the bad plates for some reason the female officer was shot directly between the eyes point blank and murdered we know this because that's how you put a gun between someone's eyes and pull the trigger. You murder them. Okay? The mama is going, there's another side, don't trust the police. There, there's more than one side to this. My babies were scared. And in a lot of situations, I'd keep my mouth shut. And in a lot of situations... I'd say, well, we don't know what happened on the other side. I didn't really weigh in on George Floyd because I felt that I didn't, I was not there. And there was too many people weighing in that was not there. But this, this one, this one, this particular attempt at saying that the police were cruel, I have to weigh in on because there's a level of common sense that is required and a lot of people who do not use guns do not understand okay I go to the gun range a lot these are safety glasses for shooting and I go to the gun range so often that I often forget that I'm wearing them I shoot handguns I shoot rifles I shoot shotguns I shoot carbines I shoot revolvers I shoot you know semi-auto pistols I shoot a number of things and I am no expert but I have shot enough variations of the bullet projecting gun that I can tell you extremely accurately that unless her children were Navy SEALs that had been doing Navy SEAL work and Green Beret work for upwards of 15 to 20 years, I question their ability to put a bullet right here between the eyes, point blank, while actively fearing their lives and tussling, tumbling, fighting, wrestling to get loose and run. Because if you're doing all this shit and so is the person you're trying to shoot, it gets very difficult to put the gun between someone's eyes and pull the trigger. The radio call for Officer Down legitimately says shot point blank between, between the eyes. Just right there. What up here? What down here? It's right there. That's between the eyes. Not even up here. That's between the eyes. Not shot in the forehead. Shot between the eyes. Which, if history and TV and Pulp Fiction, all of these shows that show 
aggressive shooting and even the crap that you can find if you look historically into how a lot of Jews were murdered in the Holocaust. People who are being brutally executed either get shot in the back of the head or shot in the head, either between the eyes or directly above the eyes. That requires someone to be submissive, having already given up. They're on their knees just sitting there looking your gun down the sides. Not not in the barrel, down the sides, because the barrel is up in here. And I don't feel that the mom gets it. And it's fine if she does not get it. She's the mom, she's in denial, she's hurt. But, cop pulled the kids over for bad license plate. That means the license plate is probably bad. Why do I say the license plates are probably bad? I've had probably 12 cars in my life. I've had license plates on them. I had one single solitary one where the license plates did go bad. And I wasn't even pulled over. It went bad by like three days. I went... I got the inspection, I took it to the DMV, and I made them aware that my plates had gone bad. And they didn't even give me a penalty because I was being upfront about it. But that happens. Plates do go bad, you will get pulled over. That's a thing. That's a real thing. And it's very hard to go, your plates are bad. You look at the numbers and the date is in date. Okay? It would be so incredulously easy to tell if someone was lying to a court of people with common sense that that makes no sense. So they were pulled over for something that happened that was not legal, okay? And then, while they were pulled over for something that happened that was not legal, one has a weapons charge. That doesn't say possession of illegal weapon. That doesn't say possession of improper handgun or any of that stuff. And because it's specifically a gun crime, they're not going to tell us what somebody in an inner city did. And I'll say it before y'all say it and try to say that I'm racist. They're not going to tell you what exactly the gun crime was a black person did. Okay, I'm not walking around the idea that he's black by saying the inner city. I legitimately mean the inner city because the laws in the inner cities are strict on guns. And because of that, it's harder to get a gun. Which either suggests that he's an upstanding citizen, so upstanding, he's been up and above and beyond to get a firearm. Which he probably didn't because other people are struggling to get one. And he's got no problem murdering a cop, so exactly how, um, exactly how upstanding could he have been? I just, I don't know. And if they can't afford to have their tags redone, I doubt that they afforded the ridiculous amounts to spend money on a handgun. The handgun charge, whatever it may be, is most likely there because uh, the gun charge, I don't know that it's a handgun charge, but it, had, it should have been a handgun if he had it in the front seat while driving around like that. But at no point during a fast, fast squabble would most people, 99.9% .9 of the people on this planet, could not have a car to window squirmish and shoot someone point blank between the head with the gun while actively trying to run. That's, that's just not where the gun would go. It would not be super symmetrically lined up. It would not be perfectly lined up with the accurate headshot that everyone wants in Modern Warfare 3. No. They had an opportunity, and they took the opportunity. And I'm not saying that because of anyone's race. I'm saying that because we are being told there's two sides to the story and not trust the police. And I'm not trying to say that the mom is wrong. There is two sides to this story. 
But if that's going to be the side of the story that everyone hears, that's just not quite accurate. And I'm not trying to make the jury bias in any particular direction. No one's going to see this YouTube video but a small, small niche of about three people who probably don't know what I'm talking about. They're either going to hit like and go on with their day just to make me feel good or they're going to agree in the comments because they know how guns work. But you typically can't put a pistol between someone's eyes and shoot it point blank if you are in that aggressive of a wrestling match. Most of the time, your face and their face won't even be pointing at each other at that point. Someone's gonna be trying to wrap around the other one. Their head may, might be over here or over here or down there if you're trying to get them in a lock hold or something. And something that's even more telling is if you were wrestling to get the gun to their forehead because you knew you had to kill them and you were wrestling and fighting with this police officer from your seat having been pulled over and you drag the pistol to their head and you've got it pressed up against their head a lot of about 80 percent ish of handguns that are pistols that have the floating barrel will actually take the gun out of battery or out of charge when the barrel that's floating gets pushed in. What that means is the internals will push against the back of the gun and the hammer won't be able to fall down and hit the, the actual hammer needle or you know the little internals that will set off the bullet and the gun won't fire. That is a thing that I don't like about pistols to begin with. It's why I'm a revolver fan. You put your hand on my gun, even around the gun where the cylinder is, and I pull the trigger, I can blow your fingers off because of the, the bypass discharge around the outside of the cylinder. You can't hold my gun, and you can't stop my gun. But a pistol, the other hand, you know, if you don't want to grab the slide because they might fry that skin off of you when you, when they pull the trigger. But you you if you got the slide back or if you're holding the barrel back, they can't pull the trigger. So those things are things. And if that police officer was fighting for their life and you dragged it across their face while pressing it on their face to get a fucking shot off. One, you could have just went ahead and shot them while you were dragging it across their face. You didn't. You were specifically choosing to aim right there, which is a murder shot. And two, there is absolutely no reason to shoot someone right here if you're just trying to get away because you're innocent. Okay? Shooting them in the eye, shooting them all of down here is more than enough to take half of someone's face off with a handgun. The, the action of the meat around the face to swell up around the injury before closing back in, the trauma that that causes often leads to chunks of the meat just coming off. And I, that may not be pleasant. That may not be what people expect to hear. I don't think people really care what the process is. You don't, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, shit, boom. You, you don't. That's the most accurate. Like, it, it wasn't pressed all up in her face to the point that the gun did not go off. And it wasn't so far back off of her face that it can't, went through at an angle, right? So, that was either... And I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But either she walked up, okay, she walked up to the window, and as she put her head down, which she's not supposed to do, the kids went, boom, before anything. And I'm sure the hood camera of the cop car will tell us if that's what happened. Um... And, of course, typically in a traffic stop where you're just getting pulled over for, you know, 
this, the passenger stays in the car. So he, while sitting in the car, felt the need to get out of the car. I have, I, it's an ongoing case. They're probably not going to release the footage or the audio just yet. But if and when they do, I am interested to find out if they were, if she had immediately been shot and he saw and got out of the car to respond because he was hurt. He was critically injured, which meant he was either at a safe distance or he was most definitely wrestling with them and giving them a hard time. And because he is critically injured but alive, he will probably have a testament. He probably had body cam footage. She probably had body cam footage. The car has hood cam footage. So they're not going to be able to lie out their way out of this. Neither the cops nor criminals can lie out of the, the footages. Okay? And something that happens in a lot of cases where there is an illogical fear of the police because there is illogical fear of the police, and this lady says that everyone's fearing their, their police. It's illogical fear of the police because they have body cams like crazy. But you will see these people, they get pulled over for a ticket, they get pulled over for this, they get pulled over for that. They don't understand what the laws are, either because they're not intelligent, they're not following the laws, or they don't understand something. And for whatever reason, these are combined with being scared of the police. They're freaking out. They're crying. They're screaming because they don't understand the police cannot hurt you. They can cause some small bodily harm because you're resisting. They can cause injuries to, you know, self-preserve themselves and get you in the back of that cop car with handcuffs on. And when you resist arrest and attempt to flee, we don't know at that point, because you were just determined not to do what the cops are saying, is there a dead body in the back? Has this person been killing someone? We need to stop them. We need to know what's in their system, why they're acting this way, why they're behaving this way. We stop them because they're driving at night with no headlights. We stop them because they have a missing taillight. We stop them because their windshield is cracked and that's illegal. It's a safety hazard they can't see. We stop them because clearly their vehicle has been, been wrecked really badly. And we don't know what's going on with this person. We stop them because there was an AP, APB put out or someone is in the area has described this person walking down the street. Whatever reason we have stopped this person... It didn't go away because the person says that they're scared. It didn't go away because they've fussed at our police officer or said that he's wrong. What does happen is other cops have to be involved because that person typically has to be brought into the police station and processed. And after being processed, they can be sent home with no charges. They can be sent home with charges. They can be kept overnight with charges. They can be kept overnight without charges. They can be kept overnight with charges with no uh, ability to leave in the morning. Um, they can be uh, in, ended up full on arrested with you know having to post bail. And all of this happens <clears throat> in regards to what can we prove, what can't we prove, and what are we suspicious of that we need to see if there's anything there. Now, if you've got nothing to hide and you've done everything correctly, there's no need to kill anyone, there's no need to run, there's no need to scream, there's no need to flail. When the cop has the body cam footage and the car has the body cam footage and the other person has body cam footage, and if you feel like it, turn on your camera and y'all all communicate. It's that simple. People do it every single day, all day long. And if while you're sitting in your car and your video is running and the police walk up, if they shove a, a gun in your head, I feel like they're going to pull the trigger if they've already decided to just go above and beyond and just be that 
insane. And if they don't care that their body cam footage is on, their hood camera is on, and their their you know partner's footage is on, if they don't care anymore, there's no screaming that's gonna help. You know, so just make sure that you've got your side recorded from point blank. And in fairness, a small tip to everyone, every time I am pulled over, I do hit record before the police get to my vehicle. And I'm not one of these dudes or these people who are going to say, uh, just to let you know I am recording. No, no, no. That allows people to augment their behavior. You don't want people to augment their behavior or get aggressive with you trying to say that you can't record. It doesn't matter if you legally can record or not. If you've been fucking murdered, then suddenly that footage can be used in a court case. Okay, it, 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 it can depend up to the judge, but if they want to see it, they're going to ask to see it. So I hit the record button and I typically lay my phone down I, I'm in a van, so it's got the shape of a truck, but without the big thing in the middle of the bench seat. And I, I throw it down, and I, I, I prefer to use the camera on the back of the phone. That way you can't see the camera and go, oh, he's recording. So I'll lay the phone screen down and try to aim the, the camera to me. And because I'm a gun carrier, I already do something. And because of doing this for that reason, it's a lot less suspicious. But I keep my hands on the steering wheel. I announce to the policeman very clearly, as soon as he gets here, Officer, I have an open carry that I would like to either hand to you or put on the dash so that there is no confusion. And the police officer will typically say, yeah, okay, go ahead. What is it? And where is it? And I will say it's a 22 Heritage Revolver. It's a 45 caliber Colt. It's such and such. And I'll tell him, you know, it's strapped in my thigh. It's inside the glove box. I want it within view for you. It is not loaded. Because when I'm actively driving, I don't carry a revolver loaded. I have an empty chamber. When you pull the trigger on a revolver, it chambers the round first by itself. So I say that it's not loaded because it's technically not loaded. And I put the gun on the dash, you know, just right up there. And then the police officer and me, we have the conversation we have to have. I have a lead foot, okay? I have been pulled over for speeding probably 30 times. And out of 30 times, I have probably had a speeding ticket probably 28 times. And of those 28 times, what you do is, what I've done is I got a guy named Jack O'Hale and a couple of other people that are in his circle to go down there and do the lawyer thing that lawyers do. And those lawyers typically get you off of the speeding. And, you know, I've had prayer for judgments. I've, I've had um, improper equipments. I've had a number of them caused by the fact that I had a speeding ticket in the first place. And I used a lawyer to get them lowered because that's what a logical, sane person does. They just let it go to court and they fight it in court and they fight it in court with a lawyer and even though I'm in the wrong for speeding, court typically lets you off with less. Because, one, because lawyers are good. Two, because money is what this is all about. And three, because no one wants to kill you. you have any clue how much paperwork that is when someone is dead on the scene? These cops probably want to go home and eat some favorite food of theirs and watch some TV show that they like. They do not want to be stuck in the facility for 24 fucking hours telling everyone what happened, wondering if the one in the hospital is okay, trying to figure out, you know, are they going to get paid to go home? Are they going to have to stay here even longer? You know, because they're going to get paid when they get sent home. It's part of the job. So they're going to get paid because anytime someone gets shot, they may be sent home.
or sent to mental evaluations. Make sure they're still good. Okay? Because that's, you know, if you have to shoot someone, that may have been traumatic. And if it is traumatic, we want to know. And because it was your job, it's kind of covered with your job. If I get hurt at my job, it's covered at my job. Okay? So, that said, that thought process pulled up for you. Um, just not really directly in response to the mother saying, don't trust these cops and we're scared of these cops and that there's two sides to this. But to anyone who has seen the video and is thinking, well, she's right, we're scared of the cops. They probably didn't do anything. Those are just babies, you know. Mm -mm. Consider that it's practically impossible to put a, a kill shot between someone's head, not bash it into their, their head to the point that the pistol is out of battery, out of charge, and not off the face to the point that the officer would see the gun and try to move and it not be a between-the-eyes headshot. I don't see a point to someone putting the gun right here and the officer freaking out and traveling this way, and if they did, fucking good timing putting it between her eyes. I don't see that being what happened. <clears throat> I disagree with it. I don't buy it. I have been to gun ranges a lot. I already said it. And one of the things that a lot of people try to do at gun ranges, so there is experience trying, is you put you put a, a target on the face of the, the target body. And you go from behind a door, behind a wall, and you swing and turn and try to aim and shoot at the face. Because shit happens. And you know what? It is insane how difficult it is with a rifle, a shotgun, a handgun, a pistol, a, a uh, revolver to at five feet turn in a tussle and hit the target at all in the face. You can hit the shoulder, you can hit the chest, you can hit the abs. That You kind of get away with that quite a bit. You're turning and you got that motion blur in your eyes before you stop at where that face is, you don't hit the face. And I don't know how many of us have tried, but there's a lot of us that try with duds. I actually use the um, 22 Ram set bullets that don't have anything in them but powder. I'll load them into my 22 and practice point blank shots to the paper because you will still get a discoloration and burn on the paper, if not a hole, when you fire these out of a revolver. Um, trying to do quick tussle, swing and shot at like point blank range, just to see like how accurate I can get them for when I need to pull a gun during a fight. And I'm telling you right now, it is far easier to, like, if someone's grappling you from behind, shoot them in the shoulder. Shoot them in the throat. It's, it's just not worth the turn and shot. The number of times I have failed to even hit that face at point blank range is ridiculous. And you're telling me that two kids at random during what they may consider a good day or a bad day without practice just randomly wham and I say without practice because one a lot of these people who end up being criminals they don't go to a gun range and practice and two they have a gun charge which tells me that the gun was either illegal or they were doing something wrong with it and I'm assuming that if you have a gun that's illegal or a gun that you're actively using that you legally shouldn't be having, you probably aren't taking it to a gun range where police officers, off-the-clock officers, former police officers are running a gun range to show them your gun before you go into the gun range and shoot. Feel free to call my bluff if I'm wrong or if I've made a mistake in judgment, but that's where I'm sitting on this uh, police officer shot and the other's wounded case. 
I'm, I'm not going to use... I'm not going to use like location data or anything, but you can Google police, uh, female police officer shot between the eyes during police stop for dead tags. You, you can pull up, uh, mother upset, uh, says children are innocent. You can, you can look up these things and you can see her viral video making the argument that the police are lying that her children are innocent, that they were scared, and that she was scared. I mean, you you can make this this argument all you want to, and it's that's fine. It's it's okay to say what you think people are going to hear. Lawyers do it too. Okay, that's how I get out of my speeding tickets. But but I don't really feel like all these random people deserve to be lied to about how easy it is to put a handgun of any size, any caliber between someone's eyes and pull the trigger. And typically when people say a gun, they mean pistol. They don't mean revolver because people will almost, almost subconsciously say revolver when they see a revolver. It's almost like people don't clump revolvers with guns when they see guns like oh my god he's got a rifle he's he's got all these long guns and a revolver that was damned specific okay hey that man's got a revolver that was awfully specific just say gun you know just it's it's noticeable that when it's a revolver people do call it a revolver we even heard that really horrific fail where that journalist called it a high capacity full auto revolver. There's there's a clip on YouTube where she says this and it's 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 a horrific image of what someone's basically taped together to look like a gun and it's it's a bad attempt. That said, just thought I'd I'd make that comment, make that, you know, outage of how hard it is to make that shot for people who are wondering how scared he was because when you're calm and practicing that shot it's right at damn near difficult okay so either he is a absolute master who needs to not get the death penalty but instead be permanently put right there alongside of the Green Berets running hundreds of miles with hundreds of pounds of backpack equipment on his back in the Sahara Desert. Or he's lying. I don't know. We'll see. We'll all see. We'll find out. But don't don't let that confuse you. Okay? Yeah.